What is a tool chain and how does CMake fit into it? The best way to understand is to look at an actual tool chain. So let's look at GCC. When a software developer wants to take source code and build a working program, he'll run a tool called Make. And Make, in turn, will call GCC, the compiler. Now GCC will internally use multiple tools. So first, your source code gets run through CPP, the C preprocessor, and that will execute all the macros. It includes, it defines that sort of thing. After that, it gets run through the actual compiler, which I believe is called CC1, and that takes the source code, preprocessed source code, and turns it into assembly code for your CPU. Then the assembler is run, GAS, the assembler, or AS, and that'll take the assembly code, turn it into machine code, and then the machine code from all the source files are linked together using LD, the linker. And then you have a working program. And that, if you look at it, it's all a chain of tools. That is the tool chain. So how does CMake fit into all of this? Well, CMake fits at the top of the chain. It reads in its own scripts and then generates a build script for your chosen toolchain. Not just that one, but it generates build scripts for all the major toolchains for all the major uh, operating systems. And that's where its power comes from. You can take one build script and your source code and build your code using whatever compiler you want for whatever operating system you want. If you want to know how to do that, check out my other CMake videos or head to cmaketutorial.com.